Good afternoon, dear viewers of the Project Savalmash, investors, partners, and all those who are involved in this project. You are on the Savalmash channel. We are now standing on the right hand side of the Design and Technological Bureau building, and we are observing a very beautiful view. The vegetation layer has been completely restored on the left side, and the lawn has also been seeded. The rains that are starting are now helping us to get the grass to start growing in the quantities and at the pace we need. At the same time, it is worth noting that work has now begun on the installation of the permanent fence. The reference points have been set and the level has been, well, stretched. So we expect the erection of a fencing structure here in the near future. A very important and significant event for us is that the lampposts, most of them, are already mounted on the right side there. There is a little bit left to mount. It also concerns the back of the building, behind the ramp. The vegetation layer has been restored there as well. We'll move there and see in detail what's going on. We have moved to the back of our site. We see, as I said, the vegetation layer. We see that around the perimeter of the entire portion on the right-hand side of the building, there is curbing installed with some cutouts where the work is going on. We can also see that the tapping for the cold water connection is ongoing. The final work is already being done here. Not long to go until it's completed. And again, we see the poles already in place. Let's move on. We start moving to the left side of the building. Here we see that the temporary crushed stone stockpile is already thinning out. It's getting smaller and smaller. We're also standing on rolled sand. If we move to this side, we can see the previously demonstrated climate systems, which are standing in their rightful place. They will, of course, be moved around a little bit and put in place. And we can see that the main line for transportation of ethylene glycol coolant has already been installed. It has also been welded, brought into the building, and now it is left to close only a small part of it. That is to backfill it with sand, cover it with slabs, and fill it with crushed stone in order to cover it with asphalt. Now there is a truck coming up here to unload again, so we are moving on. Now we can see, or rather even walk on the surface, because of which our crushed stone stockpile is getting thinner. It has already been distributed here. It will only be left to tamp it down, and we can start laying asphalt. Which is actually what our builders are doing. We can also see that we have already beaten off, literally beaten off, the level on which the curb stone will be equalized and it will also become a kind of a reference point so that everything is beautifully even and according to the project documentation. Here we can see the territory of the future parking lot and the road on which our trucks and other equipment will drive. The site is now being leveled. Surveying is being done. And in the near future, crushed stone will be poured, tamped, and asphalt will be laid in this area of our site as well. The piercing work has also already been completed. We have talked about that in our previous videos. We'll have to close the excavations, restore the sewer manholes on that side of the road, and that will be the end of a very troubling issue for us and many people. An issue that involves high liability excavation work.
Now we have moved into the administrative and utility building. Here we can see how finishing works continue. We can see the installation of ventilation communications. Large trunk lines are installed. They are quite big. We have already seen the preparation for the installation of boxes, for the installation of doors. So we can say that the process is in full swing. Also, we have already delivered and accepted the finishing panels that will be installed partially on certain walls, that is, the decorative elements. The amount of work that has been done now it's not that visible the difference I mean but nevertheless a lot of preparatory work has been done and this will allow us to speed up and get a view of good quality renovations This includes the ongoing installation of engineering structures. Now we can see the looping of the mains that transport hot and cold water. In the heating station, the mains are now being insulated. And now you can watch the so called codes being installed on the pipes. We can also see stored decorative wall panels which will be installed in the administrative and utility building. It is about them that we talk to you. Here we can see the reinforcement of our production part. This is the laser, the delivery of which we waited so long from China. It has arrived. It is a rather big voluminous box. Everything is well packed here. So I think that in the near future we will unpack it, open it and install it in its rightful place of work. Which I congratulate all of us on. And I want to finish this video showing you the laser side. Behind me you can see the laser complex for cutting metal materials. Stators, rotors or other package plates are cut there. It is also where tooling and everything else that is needed is made. Three laser complexes are located in this small area. The second is an engraver and the third is for non-metallic products. This whole gallery between the axes that you can see will be taken up with laser equipment and everything that is needed to work on making rotor plates, stator plates, tooling and everything that goes along with it. Of course, this temporary warehouse of materials for the creation of ventilation communications will be removed from here. Production facilities will be created everywhere along this section. This is the amount of work that is already being done. How? We have already shown it to you in this video. We are starting to prepare areas, we are buying equipment, we are starting to install it. And all of this, of course, for a reason. The point is that the project develops in stages. We already know that we have a production line. A number of motor solutions have been developed for it, which need to be produced there and which are in demand on the market. We clearly understand why and what we are doing. And all of this requires quite serious preparation. Therefore, everything that we are showing now, everything that we are talking about, including our plans, is possible only thanks to the fact that we are creating the capacities of the Design and Technological Bureau, which will allow us to fulfill all the set tasks. 
and this has become possible because of your support, your participation in the project, your faith. And today, the speed of realization of the main task, the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau, depends directly on our efforts, on the rate of financing. And I think we are going at a good pace and are on the finish line. So, thank you for your participation, thank you for your support, stay tuned, stay posted, subscribe to our social media. Success is definitely ahead of us, thank you.